A woman has revealed how her mom covered her huge birthmark with caked on makeup from the age of three, resulting in playground taunts of ready breck face. Alex of Berkhamsted, Hertfordshire, who has been diagnosed with the rare neurological condition Sturge Weber syndrome, characterized by port wine stains on the face and body, said, When I was three, my mum was verbally abused in the street by a child. They said they were going to report her to the NSPCC for burning me. She was really shaken up by that and started putting makeup on me to protect us both, I guess. Adopted at one month old by her mum, Francis and dad, Kenneth Kemp Bell, the full-time mum of three vividly remembers one child's parent asking for an independent doctor to assess her, fearing that her birthmark was contagious. Alex said, I have always just accepted having a birthmark. It's always been there and I've been used to it. It was other people who had an issue with me. She recalled the daily ritual of having pancake makeup applied to conceal color abnormalities after her mum was accused of abusing her by strangers. It was a white color, mixed with a pinkish shade, she said. But it was really gloopy, almost like I had put my face into a thick cream pie. I remember taking my clothes off and there was makeup all over them. When she turned eight, Frances showed her how to apply the makeup herself. Mom said she didn't want people to hurt me and she wanted to protect me from the bullying, she explained. I wished I didn't have to cover up, but the makeup made me feel safe. Children at school were so mean calling me Miss Piggy because of the pink color of my face or Ready Breck after the instant porridge because my makeup was caked on so heavily. It upset me so much that even 30 years on when I was making my children Ready Breck for breakfast, I burst into tears. Because of the psychological scars, Despite its mask-like effect, Alex continued applying the makeup taking an hour each day to cover her face. It was only when she met her husband Duncan that she started to feel confident about her appearance. He loved me for me and my skin didn't feel like an issue, she said. The pair married in Highgate, North London, in June 1997, going on to have three children. She had NHS-funded laser surgery for 14 years, from the age of 14, to reduce her Port Weinstein's livid appearance but she was not diagnosed with Sturge Weber syndrome until two months ago. I started to get pains in my eye, so the optician referred me to an ophthalmologist, who I saw privately at the Wellington Hospital in North London, she said. Just two months ago, the doctor I saw there told me I had Sturge Weber. I'd never even heard of it and no one had ever mentioned it before. Medics think it is caused by a network of blood vessels continuing to develop instead of separating in the womb, causing an extra layer of blood vessels over the surface of the brain. It is not known exactly why this happens. Now Alex is being sent for an MRI scan to see how extreme her Sturge Weber is, as those who suffer with the condition can also have epilepsy and glaucoma. Up until a year ago, only Alex's close family and friends had seen her without a full face of makeup. But after she shared photos of her face online before being made up, she had a surge in confidence which she now wants to pass on to others. She explained, when people look at me, point and laugh, I wish the ground would swallow me up and I feel insecure. I don't want people to be looking at my birthmark. I want them looking at me thinking, what a fabulous woman. After I did a Facebook Live of me applying my makeup, I was physically sick. It was such a big deal for me to bear all. But now I want other people to do the same. Be proud of your birthmark. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, it's what makes you, you.